Where am I? This is so confusing. The first time I played this, it took me a half hour to figure out where to go. Heimkel, this is your answer, and still you call yourself a knight? As daughter to a true knight, I know their pride is staked upon fair and honorable combat. Release your hostage, then stand and face us! No more running, coward! Ah, you invoke your father after betraying him? He's headed for the airship! That makes no sense. Why should he flee? His aim is the Vestal, not the key. He's baiting us? Still, we have to give chase! We'll lose him and the ship! Well, I'm game to brave a trap. I'm following you. On you! Let's go! Great! Yay, yeah, let's just walk into the obvious trap. Yep. Not a smart one. This ship is a prison you entered willingly. Nowhere to run now, safe down. Quickly. Really, I must thank you for taking the bait so eagerly. It's earned you a lavish cruise through the clouds, Vesto. And for your friends, a career as ballast. You're a prisoner here, same as us. No more tricks, Michael. A knight without chivalry is a common bully. I'll see you stripped of that title here and now. Uh oh. You want to test your elders, girl? I thought to bring you home in chains. But no. All but the Vestal will end here as you upon my blade. You'll die with the rest, traitor. Oh, yay. This ought to be fun. Oh, God. He's got two Sky Knights as well? Alright, I gotta find out. No, not tree. Examine. Now, if I remember the knight class correctly, he will take damage for his comrades. I'm gonna hit both the sky archers with some lightning. Because it'll be easier to take out them. And be easier to take them out. Uh, what's the fault one? Yep. Oh god. Oh Jesus. Down, down. Oh god, well this is gonna take a while. And he is poisoned. Anius and Ringabell are down. We're gonna have to default with his... What is he weak? He's weak to lightning. Sweet! Take all the damage. Alright, so... I'm gonna... Nope, that was... Stupid buttons! I'm gonna take that. And yes, white magic, cure. I'm gonna cure Adia. Ring a bell, what other abilities did you have in martial arts? Inner alchemy, cure status, raise the attack for two turns, let us chance of failure. Physical attack, yeah, I say balls to it, let's do it. And I'll hit her, hit him with some black magic. Oh, it worked. I think. Wait. How come Adia didn't get herself? I must have used it wrong. Again. Okay. Tis, I'm going to... It's default. White magic, cure, Adia. No, I did it right. Wait. Damn it! I always do the wrong one. All right, ring a bell. Let's use this attack to some good use. You know what? Actually, I got a smarter idea. Since it, it's good for two turns, I'll hit him first, and then I'll spam it next turn. And then I'll hit him with some thunder. All 
Okay. And yes, it's taking some hits now. Okay, Tiz, I'm going to have you brave, and I'm going to have... Gonna pop a potion on you, and then I'm gonna pop a potion on Agnes. I can't wait to get some healing magic up in here. Like, this is starting to... It's kinda hard. And yes, let us... Black magic... Thunder. Ring a bell... He doesn't have his up anymore. What the hell? It said it was good for two turns. I bet that first turn counted. Oh, well. Well, I do it again. Let's do it again. Abilities, martial arts. That was the right one. Raise attack for two turns. Yep. Idea, black magic. Now let's default. All right. Where is he at? 1567. That year is so far behind. I'm going to item. Let us heal up Ring a Bell. Agnes. Black Magic Thunder. Ring a Bell. Spam to Hell. Idea. Double Thunder. I love Thunder Magic. Oh, the damage! The damage is real! Now, this is what I call teamwork. Okay. I'm gonna default with Tiz. Let's get some thunder. Black thunder, yep. Oh, God. Uh, brave, let us. I, would, I want them to get this XP. And yes, ability, black magic, thunder. Oh, he's down for the turn, sweet. Oh, if he's down for the turn, then... I say spin the hell out of this black magic. Die! Dead! Victory results to me. All the XP! Give it to me! Oh, look at those numbers increase. Still increasing. Okay, stopped. Oh, look at the cash. Oh, so beautiful. It's still going. I like this. I got to level up for Adia. Nothing else. Monk level up. Uh, you've learned the HP 10 plus support ability. And a... Gaun... Gauntlet? Gauntlets. That's what it says. Gauntlets. And I get the night job. Or the weird asteric thing. Asterics. Well, that's cool. Get wrecked. Of course we are. I'm a crack pilot, apparently. 
<laughs> He's on crack. Now find something to hold on to. Sweet. We stole an airship. It is ours now. Into the river. Er, river. Pond. Lake. Thing. Let us return home. What cool things did I achieve? Notes. People. Ring a bell. Yep, he's a pilot. Items. Accessories. Gauntlets. A piece of glove-shaped metal armor that is worn to protect the hands and fingers. It allows each finger to move individually, allowing for a decent degree of freedom in hands and finger movement. What the hell does that mean? Well, it just brings up physical defense. Alright. Beasties. I bet it's the boss, and it's the guy who does stuff. Job description, night. And this is the part where I switch Tiz's job. Job, Tiz. He's done good as a freelancer. Let's make him a knight. Uh, two ability. Yeah, I'll keep the binding rod for now. Chivalry. What does Stomp do? Deal damage 1.25 times that of conventional attacks, however. Your physical defense and magic defense will decrease by 25 for two turns. The lower limit for physical is 35. Protect allies whose HP is critically low by taking damage for their behalf. Alright, that's good. I bet there's a cool strategy I could do. Like, he takes all the hits and then Agnes heals him and the other two deal damage. Sounds like a plan to me, if I ever heard one. This is a long episode because I can't cut it. Well, actually, no, I could cut it in half. But that requires effort! Uh, I don't think I need to save yet. Let's go up here and talk to Duck Hang! The kingdom of Kaldisla owes you all a vast debt. I thank you from my heart of hearts. You, more than anyone, is. A nightmare was visited upon you and your home, and still you rose up to defend ours. I'm certain your feats have earned Owen a peaceful rest. If you are willing, I would gladly see you take up his sword. Will you continue to keep this land safe, son? You honor me, your highness, but I cannot accept. I promised on yes that I'll join her on her journey. Kaldisla shall be poorer for losing you. Know that you will ever have a home here. The Eternian airship is yours to use as you will. Take it with my blessing. There's not a man in the kingdom able to pilot it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I leave the matter of that horrible chasm to you. I have faith you'll see it unmade. May the crystals keep you in your journey. Yay! Alright, I don't have to go through a chat- uh, cutscene, sweet. Or no, not a cutscene, uh, words. So now what? I got an update in the book again. Notes. People. Okay. The Haran region. Oh. Did I skip something by accident? I may have. I bought all magic, correct? Yep, all magic is learned. Okay. Well. I say let's heal up and then leave. 
All level 12, all nice and happy like. I'm doing better than I did uh, the first time I played. I don't. I never grinded. All right. And we'll save here just in case you don't never know what's gonna happen. Let's continue on. I must have skipped something. I don't know. Did I hit a button? I don't care. Alright. Enter. Alright, now cutscene, correct? Nope, black screen, yep. Seems I've found a reason to come along. Now, my ladies, all you need to do is simply speak the word, and I shall whisk you off to the very ends of existence. <laughs> and you're really sure that wasn't just a fluke before? Rest assured, my dear, I never fail to properly escort a lady. <laughs> Agnes, will you tell us why they were chasing you? The Sky Knights are a branch of the Eternian forces. The Duchy of Eternia has put forth an agenda of anti-crystallism. Anti-crystallism? A new way of thinking, based upon the idea of a society no longer dependent upon the crystals. It brands the crystal orthodoxy as a heretic faith, and the Vestals its minions. It was the philosophy I was raised upon. When the chasm appeared, every one of the Eternian forces was given the order to capture the Vestals. They said the Vestals and the crystals they tend were the sinkhole's cause. That's not possible! Agnes has been fighting this whole time to fix what happened to Narede. I know. I'm sorry. You've nothing to apologize for. All of this paints the duchy in a suspicious light, don't you think? Perhaps they know more of the chasm's true cause than they let on. I cannot imagine we've seen the last of them. If any of you wish to go, do it now. I'll not blame you. I'm staying with you. I just told the king as much. I'm in as well. I need to see for myself whether my people are right or wrong. And playing escorts is my job. <laughs> I'll not cede it to anyone. If none of you will listen to reason, this is so exciting, Agnes. You're finally headed back to the Wind Crystal side. Yes, to Ancha, the land of sand and time, and to the Temple of Wind. Sandshine, the land of sand and time? What's it like here? Like an oasis in a vast desert beyond the sea. We make southeast of here. Well, all right. Let's fly the airship. Okay. Um, I can make things do other things. Ah! I gotta read. So, Agnes, refresh my memory. Amnesia joke, by the way. Which way to Ansheim? Er, yes, it's southeast. So, will will this course serve or southeast, please? Hmm, my dear, I'm afraid I have no re recollection to go by. I need reliable directions, or... What should I do? The innkeep said southeast and nothing more. <laughs> I think I see what happened. Ring bell, she means it's southeast of Caldisla, specifically. Ah, I. Ooh, Agnes, just what sort of places, Anchime? It's covered in a vast desert and hot as though it were always midsummer. Wow, that sounds like the complete opposite of where I was born. Ha, huh, I guess there's all sorts of places out there. This, your first time leaving Caldisla, then, tis. It is. What about you, Adia? Me, or I was formed Sky Knight. I've flown all over the world. Or have you seen? Oh, lots of places. Eternia, Caldisla. Caldisla. Uh, you're barely any better than me. The word is vast, my friends. There are countries of perpetual summer, others of winter. Verdia lands riches in water, entire kings have built on the volcanoes, nations are hiding in the forests. That sounds amazing. Or so I'd imagine, I have no memory, remember? What, you're just guessing? Ah ha ha, that, the world is vast, keep the vague and you're sure to be right. Again? Damn it. 
If anyone else hungry, and yes, what sort of food is Anne Chime known for? Hmm. Well, I'm afraid I so rarely left the temple, I couldn't say. And when I passed through on my way to Caldessa, it was as a fugitive. Well, just tell us about what you have eaten then. Hmm, I seem to recall a great deal of Anne Chime's cuisine being spicy. One bite and I felt as though I were spewing flames that broke into a full body sweat. That sounds pretty intense. Leaving it to a des desert person to develop a taste for searing heat. I'm sure their women are no less fiery and... Oh, what about sweets? Any cakes? Anything? Uh, I'd nearly forgotten. I had the most curious delicacy in a port in the inner city. Yes, yes. It, it was ice cream. That stretched? Ha, huh, stretchy ice cream. That sounds so weird. I can't wait. Get ready. We're sh stretchy ice cream. Dia's coming for you. Full speed ahead. <laughs> Temp temperament, fiery, and temperament. Okay, finally. Let's go across the world! Oh, look at the world down there. It looks beautiful. There's not that in quest log, but I don't care. Apparently this is where I need to be. Somewhere I got a port. Why is this place so green? It's not a desert. I gotta find somewhere to dock. Beach works. Alright, maybe not. Ah, oh, here we go. Chapter 1, Sit and Stay are Tricky for Dogs. Oh my god, that was only the intro?! Then we spent like five... Eight episodes, I want to say? Eight, nine? Are these desert places normally supposed to be windy? When near the site of the wind crystal they are, this stillness shouldn't be possible. The wind carried all manner of blessings to this land in days past. It was the kingdom's lifeblood. I see. All the more reason to hurry then. Which way to the temple? From here we need only head... Uh, we ought to make a for... Uh, which way is it? Ignore anything she says. Anya's raise is getting lost to an large form. <laughs> I'm impressed you made it to Caldisla. Just a moment. My journal details much of Anshine's topography. A clockwork metropolis nestled in Harina's sandy bosom. <laughs> Here, time, above all, is sacred. A massive timepiece crowns the kingdom, fueled as all of Anshine by the ceaseless currents originating from the Temple of Wind to the south. Quite thorough, isn't it? Sounds as if you've been here before. Perhaps that book of yours is a travel diary? I do seem possessed of a certain wanderlust. The normal sort as well. Perhaps I'll find a train of ex lovers here along the sands. Let's be off. We make south. Alright. Ah! Oh, can I end off the episode yet? All present, Lord Marshal. Save the usual two, at least. No matter. Let's begin. I trust word has reached you from Kaldisla. The knights of the Eternian Sky have fallen to the Vestal. I'd not thought the girl still bloodthirsty as all that. It appears she surrounded herself with capable guards. What's more, it pains me to say it, but Idea's whereabouts have been lost amid the chaos. That is no concern of yours. Do not confuse personal matters with your assigned task, Alternus. My apologies, Lord Marshal. Not only did the Sky Knights fail, they've given the best of wings. Why they didn't simply kill the child, I'll never know. Keen insightful as ever, Victoria. 
the anti fairy we need of the best of the line. Have we, Victor? Ah, no matter then. If she's good by air, it's a simple matter to track her. She makes for Anne shine by necessity. And to the temple of wind. Anne shine does face upon the floor shine and sea. Of course. Most of the world's seas are gone putrid, but the inner sea remains navigable. That would offer the airship of Earth. But what does she aim to do there? Why return to the crystal now? It smells of some sinister plot. Anshan is the province of the Camor and Profiteur merchant. What say you, Lord Martian? We haven't the pleasure of chasing the vessel across the globe and back. We need her in custody now. Tell the merchantry to employ any means they must. Are we done? Can I end it off yet? Ned Fran up here. Alright guys, well, we've done a shit ton today. This is probably two episodes. So, I hope you all enjoyed... I don't know, this is chapter one, really? Huh, <sighs> oh well. I guess we'll get there eventually. We're long from done, though, if this is only- if that was only the intro. Let me turn this off so I can talk. But yeah, I hope you all enjoy this... This beautiful... Yeah, this beautifulness that is... Brightly default. Just remember comments and description. No, wait, what the hell? I like to listen to. Uh, damn it! I just comment in the video. Comment, just comment. That's all I must say. So, anyways, guys. Woo!